Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, All Things Accounting. Today, what I'm going to be doing is taking you through liabilities, the different types of liabilities. So stay tuned and we will go through this together. liabilities. What are they? Well, we can look at it as legal obligations that individuals or, or organizations have when they purchase certain goods or uh, attain certain uh, services from other organizations or individuals and they haven't yet paid it. So we can look at certain things such as payables. So payables, again, it's, it's, it's an example of where these are promises, promises to pay at a future date for goods or services that, that has been already received. Already received okay so we can further break down these payables into what we call accounts payable accounts payable also known short form as AP okay so accounts payable these are again promises to pay for a different for for a later date at a later date for certain assets or services that have already been received. Another example is notes payable. And these are promissory official promissory notes that an organization would recognize that they owe to uh, another individual or, or another company. So these are promissory notes. Okay, just like how it was in the case of accounts receivable, when I've rendered my services, then they owe me. This is on the flip side. If they owe me on, a, on account, then that they would recognize it on their books as an accounts payable. A different type of liability that we can look at is what is called unearned revenue. So, what is unearned revenue? For example, if customers pay in advance for uh, a particular good or service. So I go out for, uh, as an example, I want to start in the summertime my own lawn cutting business. So I go out and I advertise my business and a whole bunch of customers, potential customer base will come to me and say, hey, we would like to hire you. So I'll say, okay, uh, what I will do is I'll take payment now up front. Now under the cash basis of accounting that I could recognize that as revenue because it's, uh, I received the cash already, but under accrual basis of accounting, I cannot because I have not yet rendered my services, uh, i.e. cut the grass for my customers. Therefore, despite the fact that I received the cash, I can record that as a debit on my books for debit cash because I received it, but on the, on the other side of the journal entry, it has to be a liability because again, I have not discharged my, my obligations to my customers. So that is why it is, it is uh, an obligation or a liability because it still has not yet been earned. So still has, so sorry, still has to be earned and cash is already 
received. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, one important thing about liabilities is that when we do a, the accounting for it, unlike the assets where they are accounted for by debits, liabilities are accounted for by credits. And that will be elaborated on when we go through journal entries and journaling different types of transactions. Now, uh, very last classification on uh, liabilities, not obviously a comprehensive list, but uh, it could be other liabilities, other liabilities. And these could include such things as wages, wages payable. If you have a company and your employees already worked for you and have put in and devoted their time uh, for working for you, now you owe them that money. So you, it's, it's a promise to pay your employees. An example, another example of other liabilities would be interest, interest payable. And this could be in the form of, let's say, for example, you have a loan that is outstanding. The interest, uh, interest that is being charged on that loan that you have to pay, if you have not paid it out yet, uh, would be a payable, where you're stating to the organization or financial institution that, you know what, I, I recognize this and I will be paying you at some point in the future. And one last one here would be, which everyone I'm sure loves, are taxes payable. So because this whole journey of creating income, well, the tax man's gonna be always on us. So we're going to sometimes have to reserve a certain amount on the side and account for taxes. So if we have not paid that or remitted that to the government yet, then we would inc incorporate a taxes payable liability account. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Uh, again, this is not a very, this is not a comprehensive list of liabilities, but it, it gives you a certain sense and appreciation of what the nature of liabilities are and what some of the more common accounts for liabilities would be. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, I hope you subscribe and click that bell notification icon in order to stay up to date on my new tutorials that I'll be uploading for you guys. I hope you enjoy. See you again. Thank mm -hmm. you.